Hello everybody, my name is Semper and welcome back to another Pokemon Legend Arceus video. Last time I got kicked out of the village and now I had to deal, deal with all of this mess. And so, here we are, we're going to Lake Verity and it looks like Bolo and Irida are already here. Alright, nice. Okay, that could have ended badly right there, bud. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, then it erupted leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. And alright, we got some history lessons right there. It is protected by a poem called Mesprint. It's when Mesprint took flight that people first learned to rejoice in sorrows of living, or that's how the old tales go anyway. Okay. Alright, the Arceus phone. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's something about that phone that I always find hilarious about it. And okay, alright. You know, it's funny because I found like those three locations in both of the, uh, all three of the lakes and I couldn't find anything about it. Like there was no, no, no spirit things or like no unknown. So I was wondering what they were doing there, but it looks like they're part of the story. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the art phone the professor was going on about? What surprises await within, uh, I wonder. Mistress Kogita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon to guard these lakes. The challenge was never for the faint of heart. And alright, the first challenge. I did not train my Pokemon at all, so... I am still a bit underleveled. But I think the air feels so intense in here. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, no, wait, I can still do it, probably. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quelled Hisui's nobles. You can handle any battle. Okay. Alright, just let me do my thing, I guess. Wait, no. Yeah, I did not mean to do him first. Okay. We're gonna go with... Oh. Oh, okay, I was just supposed to walk. Alright, I thought I was supposed to do like any normal, like uh... Like the normal way, like uh, in the air wild area. All right, so let's see. Oh wait, oh that looked a bit weird for me. <laughs> oh oh yeah, for God. Okay, Aqua Jet first. That oh my God. That, uh, oh, this is my strongest Pokemon. Oh my god, this is a... Uh, I'm getting flashed back so my brain can die. <laughs> oh no! I thought this was a dragon! Oh no! Uh, this is it? Oh yes! And it was a critical... Okay, that's what I wanted to do, but... Come on, I'll block! Ah, oh, damn, alright. Rest in peace, Aro. Hey! Okay, let's see. Not very effective, not very effective. Oh, super effect. Oh, okay. Looks like I have to deal uh, fighting type damage. I really should have done something about... um. Oh, okay. I sh really should have learned, uh, Infernate, like, uh, what's it called? Combat? What's it? Close combat. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to use the entire team for this. Okay, I... And also, for the 420, I could not think of anything. Like, or, I didn't have any good moves for her to to teach him, I mean. Not to mention, I keep on forgetting to go to the, uh, that one person. Uh, what's her, what's her name again? The fighting type person. The, the one that learns too many moves. I don't know what I'm looking at. I guess on my, um, cat basically dying, I guess. And it shook out the splinters, alright. No longer obscured. Oh, okay. Nope, okay. We're gonna go one more uh, Leaf Blade. Okay, 420 with the... Uh, doing her damage. I don't know what I was going with that, but... 
Yeah, I'm proud of him. God damn. What? No! Oh man, what about the power of friendship? What happened to that from Brilliant Diamond? Okay, let's see. Uh, I guess we can use uh, Rule 34. Okay, let's see. Psychic is not very effective. Effective, might as well. Oh, yes! I'm actually, now there's like one more Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, at least, uh, oh, okay, new move. Nice. Alright, let's see what Irida has to say now. It's curious, but when I watch you and your Pokemon battle, it feels as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if you and Pokemon work together. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the Lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Oh my god, that dumb expression again. Okay, looks like it finally manifested. Do I have to catch it? If so, I probably made a mistake in that I should have... Your emotions shared them with me. <laughs> Not a chance. Uh, okay, it's probably like a no. Either way, I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Uh, surprise, I guess. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting, I guess. What did you feel when you mingled with Sui's clans? Uh, it's a wide world, I guess. I don't know. What did you feel when you... Uh, feel bitter, I guess. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. All right, looks like I answered his questions correctly. Oh uh, yeah, they should have made more expression than that. <laughs> I feel like I, that's the only one I can remember. That one and the one that when he looks down. Mesprit's Plume. Proof that you complete the Mesprit's of the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. Decide you need to force the red chain. Okay. Alright. Alright. That's all. I feel like I might be able to catch it. But I know that I've almost spoke with you. Yet the, world, the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone- Yeah, you see another reference of me falling out of the sky. It's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, on to Lake Baylor and Lake Akati. Alright, can you at least heal my Pokemon? That would have been so helpful. And I, I don't know- uh, You know what? I have a, a sinking suspicion that I should probably heal my team. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't think I'm gonna get attacked by uh, the Team Rocket uh, sisters. Maybe. Oh, okay. Bald is still here. I forgot about him. Um, but, uh, wait. Why wasn't he inside, though? Looks like it, that worked that well. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui, Bolo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular... Present. Okay, this could either mean that he's from the future <laughs> or he's actually talking about the past. Either way. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from or where and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our four bears once held Almagicino, but I have still never seen Almagicino for myself. Waiting matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kakita's home? Um, sure, I guess. Let's just continue on with the story. Perfect, I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. I mean, it's just one down out of the... One out of three, so that's pretty good, if you ask me. Now we got Echidna here. And let's see. Ah, Mistress Plume. So the legend sold it true, then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kagita, ma'am. 
But what does this pole one that represent the mind have to do with the right chain? And why sh exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the buried world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, and all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Ray Chen's purpose is to let see, let one see creation as it truly is. I what? So does the mind create the world? But isn't it the other way around? Or is it? Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. They're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident and success to, you, to which you contribute nothing. They tack along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. <laughs> oh man, out here roasting Bolo. Hey guys, what you see on screen right now is what has been captured for the past one hour. I've legitimately been recording for one hour. I did the, both of the lakes. I got the red band of bait thingy. It's right here. I faced Benny. Yes, I faced the freaking potato mochi guy. And you guys can't see what happened because it showed this freaking screen. Heck, there's even more to it because I faced... Uh, I already faced Kamado. He's up there. I already faced him. The reason I'm here is because this is the last save uh, point that was at. So yeah. I've legitimately been pl uh, recording for like two or so hours and an hour and 30 of it was basically just a still screen. Dude, I am honestly disappointed in myself. I can't believe that happened to me. Oh, I'm so mad. Uh, but it's whatever. I did the same mistake as last time when I bought... Uh, I mostly bought the Max Revives. Um, hmm. Okay, I already know what the Pokemon that it's gonna uh, come out with. Oh yeah, probably should have, uh, you know, done their voices, but it's it's whatever. I've been doing the voices for the past hour and thirty just because that's here. It's whatever. It's really whatever. It happened. Let's just move on. I'm sure you guys can like look at other YouTubers or like. Basically, just play the game and see what happens for yourself. It's disappointing, but yeah. Alright, let's face uh, Kamado. Even though I already know what happens. Let's just go. Let's just go with it. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that bind... I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it meant to be. A welcome idea, but I, can I truly put my faith in such tales? course I've gone through this already I beat him and let's see commander please be reasonable while I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the galaxy expedition team and I have the same duty towards my clan but doubting temper like this you're not just wrong you're a fool perhaps you're right but if I were to simply place my fate in this boy and that fate were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You think you're only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilee, but you're not. Temp uh, you're not. Tempered is putting his life on the line as well. Okay. I. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I lasted the voices, but it's whatever. Fine enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Basically, with your Pokemon temper, today will we battle in earnest. All right, and that's what we're gonna do. I know he's gonna bring uh, bring out his bravery, so yeah. Let me just say, three of his uh, Pokemon are easy, except for one. Let me show you exactly the one I'm talking about. Oh yeah, uh, Lex no Thunder now. Oh damn. 
God damn. Alright, let's use Thunder Fang. Are you serious? This Pokemon did not give me this much trouble before. Oh, okay. Nah, everything's fine. Oh yeah, I did mention that his armor is dope. What? I mean, just look at this. Oh, okay, he flinched. Alright, and let's see... Snorlax... I think this is his ace. Oh, okay. That's what happened last time as well, so everything's all good. And if I remember correctly... I think I used Monkey. I think that's who I used anyways. One max point. Oh. Wait, did I use uh did I use him actually? I can't remember. And let's do it like this. Ah, oh, so close though. I I that did not happen last time. Oh, <laughs> uh, if only you guys could see. If only you guys could see. Okay. Let's use this quick attack. Nice, nice. Okay, what's next? Alright, Golem. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You guys are wondering why I'm like, uh, I'm worried about like, uh, Leafeon, but. Well, let me tell you, it's, it's literally right after this Pokemon. And if that Leafeon faints, well, I'm not like, uh, you know, I'm not, it's not bad. Uh, that's the Pokemon. You guys may be wondering what's so bad up. Oh, God damn it. God freaking damn it. Okay, you guys may be wondering what's so bad about that one. Well, let's just say that thing is a complete tank and it counters a lot of my Pokemon. Let me just use Ceaseless Edge. I know it's not going to do a lot of damage, but... Look, it's gonna it's gonna set himself up. It's gonna set himself up. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. He hasn't done it yet, but Yeah, that's that's a freaking move. Oh dude. This took this fight literally took way longer than it should have just because of that calm mind. A combat punch doesn't affect it because Apparently, it's a fairy type now. And okay, or actually, I think this is my chance. Okay, wait. I think this is actually my chance. But the only thing that's worrying me is that a uh, calm mind. Oh no, I should have gotten first. Because Leafy on so Leaf Blade is actually pretty OP. Oh yes. Okay. Replace. Oh no. No. Yeah, I need to do it without the. Uh, when, when it's not using the cold, uh, calm mind. No. Please survive. No. Okay. Okay. May maybe Star can do this. Hopefully. Alright. Not very effective. Alright. Air Slash. Oh, wait, wait, okay, strong style, nice, all right, last time it was Leafeon that took uh, took care of it, but this time it's Star, nice. Plus, it took way longer than this, I think it took like at least five or six minutes more. Okay, any Pokemon that turns our life here must be eliminated. <clears throat> Man, I can't do uh, the voices. Well, that well, I mean. Without my voice hurting. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Sepako. Or however you pronounce that, I mean. Tempered. The fates have decided. I concede. I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado. I said that I heard the other voice so deep, but... I know I have no right to ask a 
ask it of you any longer, but please, use that string of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. And it's a good thing I read that poem, because I would have been really confused about Celestica people. Don't you worry, Commander. We got the red chain. And alright, all my Pokemon are healed. Let's go. I know what happens next, because... Really, I was, uh... I was battling Palkia. Yes, it's Palkia. I thought it was going to be like a different form, like a... Um, like a humanoid version, but nah, it's just Palkia. And I was supposed to catch it, okay? I was supposed to catch it instead of freaking beating, uh, like defeating it, and I accidentally did it twice. Come now, that's now's the time to use the red chain. Wait, what? What is this? There's a voice in my head. No, in my heart? It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Wow, Irida, did you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Al Almighty Sino? I think Almighty Sino may be speaking to me. It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. For the fight to come. Take these. And I thought he was going to give me a Master Ball the first time. But no, nah, it's just 10 Ultra Balls. I mean, it's still pretty generous. Seeing as I don't have that many on me right now. And here comes this uh, shot that I like. Even though it's pretty much what Red does most of the time. <laughs> and here comes the shaking before the uh, portal comes. And it's still dope. Hot damn. Yeah, I saw that and I was thinking, oh wait, is this the humanoid? Nah, I just regular pop, yo. I beat his brother at. What? Wait, is Thiago his brother? Well, either way, I beat Thiago in Brilliant Diamond. It's now time to kick at, uh, kick Pocky's ass. And also, for some reason, this thing, the red chain, did not work at all. I was shocked the first time. Well, not really shocked, but you know how we YouTubers are supposed to keep this in the same. Alright, and who do I have first? Alright, Soro, nice. This is what I did. Okay, the first time, like, I got it down. Uh, he's gonna tank it, but, like, yeah, I got it down. And I used select to, like, to finish it off. Well, after using, um, my guard of. Oh, no. That's uh, fine. But, like, yeah, like, Lex accident. Uh, I used Lex to finish it off. I got the EXP, and then they flat out told me I needed to capture it. And I completely forgot about it. And then the second time, I was going to capture it. But because of Soros, Senseless, whatever it's called. You know, the one that brings the, the splinters. I completely forgot about the splinters. And it was already, like, um, the damage was already, like, on red. And that brought it down to zero, so... Oh, wait, that's a new one. Oh, wait, I just realized this is a Paralyzed. Okay, so I'm good on that. Okay, and then I can use uh, Drain Kiss. Nice, nice. Now I'm just gonna catch it. Oh yeah, it's gonna use Strong Style. It's gonna use Aqua Tail. Of course, it hit me. Alright. Now this is the thing that I don't know what's gonna happen next. Because I... I haven't even tried capturing yet. This is gonna be our first time, so whatever happens from here on out should be new unless it's not recording. Let me check. Alright, good news. This is actually recording this time. If I would have not recorded any uh if it wasn't recording again, I would have lost it. <laughs> I still feel bad. I was recording for Oh my god. It was that easy? Well, it's a good thing I felt like first two times because if not, I would have I would have been in this whole game. <laughs> I would have to make a video saying "Hey, accidentally beat it without recording." Oh god, this is the longest time I've recorded. I started recording this game, but here you go. He caught it, right? He caught a Marisino. A red chain's been shattered, but we still got the Pokemon on the lake to thank for getting this far. Oh, well done, Tempered, my boy. Masterfully hand- I just realized it 
they're here. I was watching the whole time as you battled, and caught your way to simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Serbi Corps. Looks like I taught him well. Ah, I hear Almighty Sinno. No, it's it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzy one. It comes now to fight. That is why I am here. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Tepper could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. Is it actually Arceus this time? Okay, this is new to me. I haven't come this far. Oh, Diaga. Okay, I was thinking it's probably Diaga. Yeah, I was thinking it's probably Diaga though. Oh man, we're back at it again. But, huh? Oh, oh wait, is this one like frenzy? Bruh. Okay, I think this is what might might be happening. I think this one's frenzy, and uh, that is a weird cry. All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget the fancy talk. Book it! Come on, we gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other Amari Sino decides it wants to fight us. Oh, well, at least Kamar, though, you know. See his legendary. Well, Commander, we we can't just leave it here. You don't. You won't be any use to anybody. You die up here in this mountain. What you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get going. And that's the best voice acting I've done in, uh, for this past... Uh, videos that's oh wait it still keeps on going such dreadful power it's certainly beyond our current compatibilities to serve such a creature it, it, i'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it tempered and did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift it seems like that a build of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the novo onto their frenzied states so our two clans truly were following different on my Suno, but both were real what a shocking turn of events! To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Tempered. And to you, Tempered. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all of that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reason to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's a sub, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? That's what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Now, yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure, right? Yes. Let's not talk about that anymore, sure, uh, Commander. It seems that having tempered about has been a good influence on us all. It's only natural tempered strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chains broke? Well, we'll be alright. Armed with the knowledge of mighty Palkia imparted to me, Palkia, the Pokemon that talked to you. Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. And then, mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well then, well that chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I gather those. And the vessel of humankind's invention. I'd better say that I'm refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it, but what about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Lion might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about how stones and materials. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? The Warden Lion will be a fine resource to consult. Oh, wait, it's, it's come out of. And what are your thoughts for Herschel Lavington? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? The Arceus phone, probably? Oh, upon my warps, perhaps I do. Temper, my boy. Could you lend me those plates you received from Wordier and the others? 
The ones that Bolo had said had message engraved upon them? Oh yeah, the stones. I completely forgot about those. Ah, uh, Todd, just as I remember, here in the back of the earth plate, it says, when the universe was created, it starts to become this place. I think it may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, to share that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Liam might know just where to find such a thing, as he's been investigating it at Olo's, uh, Bolo's urging. Not that you mention it. That Bolo fellow's come around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before too. This seems like a lead worth following. It decided that, then. Let's begin our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning, although the name is rather mouthful. What do you say? Or propose we call it Origin Ore. The counterpart. Erda, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Lee into the summon camp at once. Oh wow, this is a really long cutscene. I uh, waited as long as anyone uh, could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came, so I decided to honor y'all with my with unsolicited a visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adamant, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of this great Melly? What's my role in all of this? <laughs> I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? <coughs> Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adamant. And make it a good one. <coughs> you want a job? Fine, your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clan from panicking. Take a hint! Oh, Adamant. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has worked, they are suited to work, and are not, uh, I, I, I completely butchered that. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Team, uh, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people, and you're all so little compared to me. <laughs> that ego, man. Three candy truffles. It's one for crafting various items. Oh my god, this still keeps on going. I brought Lion. Lian. I still don't know how to pronounce that name. Sheesh, that ugly has to as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulting, uh, consulting for my wisdom. It's always words our stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consultant. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it with Cleaver in battle with that bubbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of sapping both you and that ugly bubble of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized street. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest. I play mask with the pro clan folks for once. Would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman, now everyone back home is all worked up because the pro clan got to speak to Al Maricino or Pacquiao or whatever. Do you want them to hog all the glory? Oh yeah, and I just realized, Pokia gave it a uh, name itself, didn't it? Warden Lion. Lion, if you would. <laughs> Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval Brodo. Okay, finally. Uh, this could probably be a short video, despite the fact that so many things happened at once, and I could not capture it at all, because I am dumb. This Game recording uh, capture card that I have is dumb. You're probably dumb. Okay, maybe you're not, but who knows? Maybe you are. Either way, that's it for this video, guys. This time for sure, probably the next video is the end. Maybe. Hopefully. Because there's still like, uh, Dying Light 2 came out like uh, either yesterday or two days ago, or I don't know, whenever, whenever this video is uploaded, it's probably like four or five days from now. Or whatever time frame it is, I want to play Dying Light 2 as my next uh, series game. So look out for that. And look out for the next video as well because that that is all. I'm truly sorry that I couldn't capture at least like uh, the hour or so footage that I have lost. But that's what other YouTubers are for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.